tucked away in the picturesque setting of the Lake District is the Dams and Dean. Hello. A typical three-star holiday hotel. What name is it, please? Uh, Mr. Farnworth, Mr. and Mrs. Farnworth. It has a suave owner. I would say that we cater for Mondeo Man. We cater for the ordinary visitor. A creative chef. Hot enough. Would you want to dip your cock in it? <laughs> Me neither. That means it's hot enough. An ambitious manager. I've got somebody yeah, waiting. I have given you the list. Yeah, but so Check those rooms. Not... And like any quintessentially English hotel, the staff are mainly from Eastern Europe. So, każde jebane wesele jest tak samo. They ordered some special bread for me. Rye bread. Rye. 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 No tea. Rye. rye. What is this rye bread? I don't know. Rye bread. Together, they cater for the great British public. This is nowhere near the, like the room there in I have. Who come here for a break, bringing all their baggage with them. If you say that once more, Love right, you. it's over. That's it. Today, these two worlds collide, staff and guests. Room six are complaining about her this morning. With manager Wayne caught in the middle. Are you smoking outside? Absolutely. Right, come with me. Twit. Upstairs. Excuse me, there's somebody in our room using our shower. And downstairs. Either she has to go or I have to go. Hey, Moss. This is life in a British hotel. It's never been seen before. Kiss. <laughs> Checking in to the hotel this week are the Dickies. <coughs> Bargain hunters Margaret and Sasha cast their verdict on the Dams and Dean. It's disgusting. I don't understand. 20-somethings Danielle and Jamie are lost without their creature comforts. I'm confused. So the tie doesn't work and the phone doesn't work. Call yourself from Dale 100. The hotel's dog-friendly policy backfires. I've got the dog's shit in the lounge. That's disgusting. And a harsh review on TripAdvisor leaves the staff reeling. Nice hotel, shame about the staff. Under attack from complainers. The smell of paint in that room. The toilet seat is the most worrying thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, dearie me. Hello there. It's midsummer, and the Dams and Dean is fully booked. But not all the guests are happy. I do hope you've enjoyed your stay with us. No. I think a double room or a single room. Oh. That wasn't a double room, that. A toilet, but it's all sealed in. Yeah, it's a toilet. It's a toilet. It's a terrible state, this one hotel. We can call it the Marmite uh, Hotel. You know, because people either love what we do or they don't. So when you walk across that floor in the middle of the night, you can hear them. All the floors are pulled up and renewed. We don't set out to think, oh, I know. I'll, uh, I'll make sure there's no hot water, or I'll make sure the night porter's grumpy, or, or whatever. You know, we, we we set out with the intention of of providing a nice service for people to come and enjoy. Well, if you write out, you know, a comments card, I'll certainly, you know, pass on your comments to you their owner for you. Right. You do not. I do nothing. You do not at all. Oh. Uh, so your phone and, the, tele and, and yes. the television yes. didn't work last night. The television never worked for two nights. Right. The phone doesn't work up there. The telephone didn't work. Didn't work up there, no? No, I picked the phone up to see that the television was off, but there was nothing on. It was just dead. Right. If people are not happy with what you do, then you are disappointed because you do take it personally. However, you know, we can't be, you can't be all things to all people. Mother and daughter bargain hunters, the Dickies, have travelled 60 miles to take advantage of the hotel's latest deal, the £50 Super Saver. A lot of these places, you look out for the deals. Well, we do. I, do. I always look out for deals and value for money. You know, as soon as I saw it, I didn't have a good vibe. As soon as I saw it, I just had that feeling that it looked a bit run down. Do you know where your yeah. room is? No, no. It's up the stairs, through the wooden door, it's on the right-hand side. Okay, thanks very much. Is there a left? No. 
No, no I'm <laughs> afraid, no. <laughs> Very basic. It is. You'd definitely say that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. You know, for the, I'm not being funny, so I put that. You know what I mean? I mean, oh. when Linda recommended the other one. But she did say it was lovely, but, you know, I mean, it's it's not it's not I'll tell you what you get the feeling of, that it needs a refurb. <laughs> this isn't as good as, like, Premier Inn. I think it's all right. I mean, it's nice enough. It just, it could maybe do with a bit of, like, nicer um, furnishings and stuff. But I thought it was nice. It's decent, isn't it? Uh, yeah. If we stayed somewhere for 30 even for the night, we'd still pay £20 getting food and, mm. and breakfast, wouldn't we? You know, if we did it separately, you wouldn't get cheaper than £30 for a room for a night. So really, it is good value, but it is basic, isn't it? 380. Yeah, great. Let's do it. Not too bad. Press the button. Oh, do you? Right. Yeah. There? Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. yeah. Nobody's taking us out and they're not coming though, are they? Stop it, it's not carrying on. We've pressed it and it doesn't press it. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
That's shocking. Yeah. Boże, a cóż to było? Gdzie matko święta, chyba się zżygam. O Boże. Ochyda. Ochyda, no. Have you seen this? The wedding party have posted a review of the hotel on TripAdvisor. Nice hotel, shame about the staff. Bad customer feedback can spell disaster for a hotel. But let me tell you what happened. At seven o'clock at night, they decided to turn their music app that was playing on my system up loud. So I went up to one of the chaps and I said, I'm awfully sorry, said, but you can't turn the music up that loud. And he said, why are you embarrassing me? I said, well, I'm not embarrassing you. I'm just merely saying that you can't just turn the music up like that. I have other guests staying in the hotel. And then the groom then suddenly decided he was going to have a go as well. They were awful. I ignored all night that they, they have their own drinks all over the place. I just... Uh, and we found them, didn't we? We found the bottles. Bottles of vodka, beer. tonics. Where should I write a comment about their comments? That's about how they shouted, about how they call me Romanian rubbish. Where should I write this? And what they I should have punched him in the face, yeah, honestly. Yeah, to be honest with you. Huh? Oh, Pat. They were nasty. Uh, they were terrible, Paul, weren't they? Horrible people. Mm. First. Learn how to write in your own language. Hello. Guests who bring their dogs are welcome at the Dams and Dean. Checking in today are the Farnworths with their dog, Brandy. Roommate. Top of the stairs and just along the corridor there. All right. All right, many thanks. Have you no bell, boy? We haven't, unfortunately. Oh, does that mean I've got to carry that up myself? <laughs> <laughs> See you on these. I'm Let's, stuck. Do you want me to? It's an active holiday in these white stars. She's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Spout rotten. Don't go anywhere without the dog, really, do we? No, no, not at all. Come here. Right, calm down. We did ring up and ask whether there was a fridge or not, um, and there wasn't, so we, because we got camping, just we just fetched our own with us. Yeah. She loves a tuna, doesn't she? Yeah, so you need to keep that cool. Her breath smells for a few minutes after that, <laughs> oh, you know. Just don't let her come near you. <laughs> she's going to give you a kiss after she's had her dinner. No, thanks. <laughs> Check on two prawn, one fish, one sausage, and chicken for dog. For what? For a dog. For a dog. A chicken for a dog? Are you serious? Somebody's got a dog in the restaurant. No, no, no. In a silver foil in the fridge for tomorrow's breakfast. Today gets worse by the minute. Cooking for dogs. Jesus. Flight to me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Not keen on other dogs, eh? <laughs> He was only saying hello. It's all right, don't worry. One of the things that I liked about the Damsonine especially was the fact that it was very dog friendly. Fun. 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 It's point dot telly on for dog. There you go. She <coughs> doesn't normally bark at home. She's in a strange place. I know. Now that obviously doesn't suit everybody, and we appreciate that. You wouldn't think a dog would be there. A lot of people would object to that, you know. Oh, they're loud. It's a dog friendly. Is it? Yeah. Really? No, I don't like, don't like it. I, don't I like, like it. it. I love dogs, but um, no, I'm not comfortable. There was a huge dog came downstairs <laughs> this morning, and I thought, oh, go on. I'm scared of them. Just really like. Well, I'm not them. scared of them. I just don't like <laughs> it. No, no, I don't. Hello, hello. Fly. Here. Sorry, I'm tired. It's okay. Sit. Um, Maybe we're too dog friendly to some people. I. I do not want to cause trouble and I don't want to be the one known to cause trouble. Are dogs allowed in the pub? Yeah, they're out everywhere, by the restaurant. Oh, that because I, I booked it before I knew it was dog friendly. Yeah. I'm terrified of them. <laughs> Sorry. So that's all right, is it? Okay, yeah. Okay. Where's my little boy? <laughs> Crazy lady don't like you, fly the man. I just think that Generally, people who keep dogs are normally quite nice people. 
You think people that have dogs are nicer? Well, <laughs> I'm not saying that people who have dogs are nicer than people who don't have dogs, because there may be a reason why somebody can't have a dog. I just think people are far more chilled out if they have a pet. They have something else to focus on, other than the waiter didn't smile when I came in, perhaps, or the bulb has gone and nobody's changed it, perhaps, you know what I think. I just think you might not get so much meat, don't you, with the lamb? Yeah, no, that's you it. You know, that is the only trouble. I fancy the steak, but it's five quid extra, oh, yeah, which is a rip off, isn't it? Yeah. Because you can get steak for five, <laughs> so like a five, but anyway, to pay five extra. Oh, I know, I know. Lamb chops, please. The lamb, yeah, love it. And I'll have the, um, <sighs> what do I have? Do I have turkey or steak? Turkey or steak? Turkey's always nice, isn't it? Like, I love turkey. Come on, I'll have turkey. I love turkey. It's not nice, I'm coming after you. Yeah, yeah, but we'll stop it. <laughs> the hotel's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we were quite impressed, actually. It's really nice and the food's excellent. It really is nice food. And can I get the soup as well? And with the, can I get the lamb? But would you be able to do it with mashed potato rather than new potato? Shouldn't be a problem, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. Who's one, Martin? Um, I don't want what. Okay. Is that the water is just so you can use it if you like or not? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Made a four pather, considering that was a wine glass. Should I? <laughs> Sasha, please, please keep your hands on your plate. Mom, oh, please, don't act as if you're posh like that. I'm not, it's just good manners though. Manners? Yeah, I don't think it's that like that. It's really bad manners. You've never said it before. Well, I, I've never said it because you've never done it. You don't read a knife there, you put it on your plate. All the staff seem nice though, don't they? They're all foreign though, aren't they? Mm. Um. Intră pe TripAdvisor să citești comentariile lui Adi la nuntă. Deci am crezut că și mor de nervi. General. In the staff quarters, Paul the barman shows his wife the wedding party's TripAdvisor complaint. Citește. We left the room to get more drinks, only to find the staff setting the tables up for breakfast seatings. So, as for the bar being open... To get more drinks, they left the hotel to get more drinks from, from, from the shop. And we were then literally thrown out of the bar area. The bar server then told us to shut up and be quiet. Așa le-ai zis? Nu. Cum? Adică tu mă întrebi? Dar pe ce întrebi? Nu știu că știu că l-a fost acolo. Dar ți-am spus cum le-am zis, Slavi. Că și tu mă enervezi acum. Ți-am spus cum le-am zis. Keep the noise level down. Nu ți-am zis. Ok, dar de ce te enervezi acum? De ce te chece zice omul? Deci customer să... Nu știu că te întrebi. Ei au dreptate întotdeauna. Fantastic. Deci nici nu mai discuam. Am încheiat discuția cu tine. On a venue spoil your big day. Their big day, they wanted everything for free. They bought all their drinks from the shop. Their big day? Come on. Agata. Gata. Just a stia. I've been watching and sussing. I feel that the Eastern European staff are not comfortable within the environment. I think they're comfortable. It's an easy enough job, no. isn't it? If they're not happy. I know. You oh, can tell when people are not happy in a work environment. You're only 21. Trust me, I'm 57. He wants strawberry ice cream, one chocolate ice cream. Jaki strudel? Strawberry ice cream, kurwa. Ja usłyszałem strudel. In a restaurant you don't have really time to, 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 to have a chat with the people. Thank you. It's usually when we working it's like machines more, you know. Maybe some big balls. You need to be all the time smiling. If you don't like the people or whatever, you need to keep smiling and be nice, you know. But I'm grumpy in the restaurant sometimes and they can be grumpy there, so. We are working. So we cannot be rude, and they can be rude. Amos, I know what was the problem. Because it was half chicken, you know? Yes, it's a mistake, yeah. Was the dog hiding behind the bird? <laughs> <laughs> was it in reception this morning? Would have been, yeah. yeah. 
Has had a good bath. Her dog, her dog had a, a good bath. Oh, Captain. really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he probably didn't dare bench, did he? Did he? Or did no, he just shut the children? No, he just get, get up and move away. That's what they did. That's what he normally did. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We heard you saying you was from uh, Romania yesterday when you were yes. standing here. We've been skiing there. It was a beautiful Enjoy. place. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah it we had a fantastic fun. holiday there. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. It was probably one of the best holidays we've ever had that. Yeah, it was a beautiful place. There's loads of gypsies there. Oh, no, it was lovely. Oh, no, it was, no. It was really you know, I worked in a hotel once when the waitress went over to take their order and the waitress came to me and said she wants somebody English, you know, who will uh, serve her. So I had to go over and uh, explain that we were unable to help because we didn't have anybody English, you know, at the hotel. And they said, well, you know, you can, you can do it, you can serve me. And I said, well, I, I can't because, you know, I think you'll find that I'm Welsh and uh, therefore we're not able to help you, so goodbye. Are you going again? We would do, no, we will do. Getting too old for skiing. Yeah. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> no, you're not. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, we had a good holiday, didn't we? We did, her? we had yeah. They speak relatively good English, mm. apart from the manager. But... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have a chat with him. But no, he's a nice fellow, isn't he? <laughs> After that, she's there. She's like a big square blob plant there. She's left that ginger cake, I wouldn't go for that. Yeah, it looks very strong. I hate it when it's, yeah, when it's not proper ginger cake. She's cake, it looks it, doesn't it? Well, you can see there now, it's, it's like rat, mm. it's pinky looking on the cheesecake yeah. a bit, and I don't like it. That's beautiful, that, isn't it? Deadline. Yeah. It feels really light, isn't it? It's not. Event. Not everyone's happy with the hotel food. There's menus are wrong. Wayne's got an issue with tomorrow night's menu. It's not called Mary Rose sauce, is it? It's Mary. Mary. And wants his head chef to up his game. Anybody commented on this menu? Anybody what? Commented on this menu. Commented on what? Oh, the fact that it's not Mary sauce. That's arse backwards. Porch pear, red wine porch pear. Is it not porch pear in red wine? Well, it's somewhat different. It's been Kirk's first summer with us. And when Kirk came, we kind of said, you know, this, this is what we've been doing. However, you know, I like to see something with a bit more of a twist to it. So you've got to put garden vegetables in there? You've got, you've already so you've got garden veg there, veg there, seasonal veg there. Yeah. So what is it? Seasonal or garden? I, I'm, I'm daily trying to make it sound different. Just put it at the bottom, they're all served with garden veg. All, all main course is served with garden vegetables of the day. We used to have different veg with different dishes, yeah. rather than the same veg with all the dishes. Yeah. That's also fair enough, but if you're doing that, then you're holding yeah, different we've vegetables. Always done it. We've always You've always done it. Well, you haven't yeah. since I started here. Well, I don't know. We've always you haven't, used to. You haven't done it since no, I started here. We always used to yeah, do it. Used to, but you just said we always do it. But I've been here for four months and we haven't done it in four months. Yeah, I know, but you were taking, you were going to have the menus and do what you wanted with them. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine, you know. We've kind of left it to you, but we've gone back to like a basic one, and, and I just want to start introducing a bit of something different to it. No problem. Even though I'm not a good abrilic, I kind of know what's good. Mm. I know the quality. That's what I know. I'm very good at sussing out quality, even though I'm not the best of cooks or yeah. anything, but I am. <clears throat> All right, quality, but not for what you pay. So you know as well. You, you're the, you, you think the same. You're only 21. A lot of women wouldn't, have a, wouldn't be able to discern that, would they? Mm. Mm -hmm. When did you last have different vegetables for each dish? One year ago. A year ago? Yeah. Mr. Manager. Unbelievable. It's pissing with the wrong puppy. A bread roll. Quelle couleur ce soir? You alright? Ah, oh, great, mate. How are you doing? You alright? Yeah. Yeah, it's good.
busy summer season at the Dams and Dean, and all 40 rooms must be turned around quickly. It's got to come off. It's hideous. When I go on holiday, I try not to stay in hotels. As you know, I can't actually switch off from being a manager. I much prefer it if I'm just left. You know, I much prefer to be left in an apartment or, or in a house that we rent. And, and, and you know, I haven't got to worry about service. If, if I get really bad service, it's because, you know, I'm the one that's giving the service. Come and have a look with me. Don't you? No, bath is not clean. Very important this room is good. Yeah, I don't see the you are. Are you all right? Thank you. Thank you. Next to check in to room 12 are 20 somethings Jamie and Danielle. We were lucky to get a last minute booking. Wow. Check this out. We we're going to go camping, but we've both got bad bucks. So we're not very old, but we've both got really bad backs. And with Danielle being pregnant, we thought it's probably not really the best idea to be camping in the middle of nowhere, really. But there's already a problem. They could have cleaned the window. Bird shit. Oh, it looks pretty uh, crusty. <laughs> I think that's been there a while. There must be a nest up there, because there's loads of it. God. Oh, there's a <laughs> I don't know if I've on your head. <laughs> There's a massive nest up there with a chicken butt sticking right on. A chicken's butt? A chicken butt, oh, I mean yeah. a bird butt. You're a foul one, aren't you? Foul, uh, bird. The reception, how can I help? Hello. Yeah, I'll come and have a look in a second, okay? <laughs> What's oh. the problem? The window there. Oh my god. Oh, I do I do <laughs> I do it's so embarrassing. I do apologize for Careful, yeah. yeah, no, don't put your head down. There's <laughs> <laughs> shit on the window. It's horrible. The window was open and it's full of poo. Hello, it's possible to clean the window now? Alright, thank you. Patrzcie tam, to są świeże, bo są, wiecie, są miękkie jeszcze. Tak Ale co z tym mam zrobić? Przecież nic tam na dół Popatrz, wszystko to poleci tam. No to ich poleci, no. Komu się na głowę daleko? Tam są ryny przecież. Is the shit gone? Yes. So you saw it was, it was a lot. Yes. Thanks very much. Yes. I've been feeling like I've, you've, you've just been not, having issues and issues and issues. It's and not and issue. I'm thinking like, because we well, talk about it, anything. and I let, and I like you to. I think about you know. Well, let's Wayne carry still on. has let's complaints you about how things are run do, in the kitchen. But you know, I'm not happy with the status quo in there. Mm -hmm. I want somebody to come in and bring a little bit of a little we bit of modern cuisine into what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. To make matters worse, hygiene has now become an issue. Things that are worrying me is things like the food that we had to throw away when the stock taker went through the fridges. Right. And there was mould all over it. Yeah. All the, everything in those fridges so, were taken that, out. That, that was mentioned. To pleśń jest. Z pobrzeni niedzieli mówi. A to białe to pleśń. Da ja to jem. A już jak to pierdala. If you show them the salad garnish for the sandwiches, they'll do it. Yeah. Last night baguettes went out with a salad garnish on. Pathetic. Absolutely. You know, bit of iceberg lettuce, two slices of cucumber and a piece of tomato. Yeah. Pathetic. One of Kirk's strengths is that he's such a likable person. People like him, the kitchen staff like him. One of his weaknesses, I think, is that he doesn't realize when people take advantage of that. <laughs> Powinno się w ogóle obcinać. Chyba cię pojebało. 
If you don't tell them, Kirk, I, I need to be they won't do it. It is the, the language barrier. They understand completely. Don't don't you? Uh, as far as the fridges go, that's that is that's down to and me. Again, I completely hold hands up. If, if tonight, there's stuff in there, mouldy. Tonight, then, when you go, I, they I know, Kirk. They knew they were stopped taking well, today. Right, right. it's time to right. come on. Time to come on, asshole, then, and, and uh, start. I and think start you need and, to start. Start and uh, throw the law down. Oh. A couple of things wrong with the room. It's mid-morning, and Yvonne is back on reception, the front line. Right. I don't know whether you have anyone of authority that inspects these rooms. Right. But the bath panel is just falling off. It's disintegrating. Right. Yes. And the toilet seat is the most worrying thing I've ever seen in my life. If you lift it up, it's like a bomb's exploded and there's a load of splinters on it. Oh, dearie me. So that needs changing then, doesn't mm. it? Um, um, terribly sorry. Yvonne always seems to calm them down. I'm pretty sure she'd like a little switch, you know, and she'll say, yes, yes, I understand, and then press the switch and a trap door opens and they disappear and then it's next, you know. Hello. Hi, I'm just not sure. We're, we're going to leave and try and get somewhere else. So I'm just, yeah, um, I'm just not sure. Even the smell of paint in that room, to, to think that anyone could go in and sleep in it tonight, I, I think it's really appalling, to be honest. We can be really nice to the nice people that come and stay with us. We also have to be nice to the people that are not so nice to us. Right, well, if you're really that dissatisfied... Honestly, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I have to say, right, we, I have have to to say we really are. It's right. just, I mean, sure. I don't know if you want to check that yourself. No, no, I, mean, I, I did not... go in and, and, you know, we, we thought it seemed OK, but, you know, you've got the children. We can we can refund the deposit. OK. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm all right, so if you'd just like to sort of get your things together and we I'll have, take them. We have you've done everything. Right, give me the card and then I'll, to... I'll, um, yeah. I'll refund that deposit for you. There's always going to be some people that you, you can never please. And I think no matter what you do for them, um, that they're not going to be happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, put the one on this tape. No, it's not there. What? Wait there. It's not there. I need to sort this out. Thought we broke the TV. You can't get Dave or uh, Sky Sports, and I used, they're the only two channels I used to watch. The phone doesn't work. So the tally doesn't work, and the phone doesn't work. The tally did work. Well, it doesn't know. Call reception dial 100. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. The ring. It's doing something. Hello, reception, how can I help? Hello. I uh, think I've broke the TV. All the channels have gone now. Right. Well, I will try to get somebody to return it. They tune all TVs yeah. in the morning. Do they tune them from a central point or can you, or do they just do it from the rooms? Well, they are doing it separately on every single tele TV. Okay. So I'll try to get Barman to do it after 6 o'clock. Right. right, no problem, thank okay. you. Okay, you're Thanks. welcome, bye. Bye. Well, they said to just do it. Right. I don't understand. I'm <laughs> confused. So we're just gonna have to talk. Head chef Kirk has summoned his kitchen staff for a meeting. On hand to interpret is Kate, the restaurant supervisor. Right, I don't know if you're aware that the stock tape was in the other day and he found something mouldy in the big fridge. Right? I got then ambushed by Wayne and uh, he gave me a talking to about the state of the kitchen, etc. All right, all I want to say now is, this is obviously new for me, working with people that are not English. I've, in the past, I've always had the support of the team behind me. Now, George, you're my second chef. I need you to support me, yeah? I need backup. I need things looking at, the same for Cuba. Okay. We need to just keep on top of everything. Well, just give me out, uh, the, the other thing is, what I just want to say is, yeah, I like these guys, and I think we get on. And I don't want that to change. No, just give me a pogadank as well. I'm sure that I'm going to be able to get his call. I'm 
be honest, you pass in though. Right, channel. Man, I want this on. <laughs> Do you know I'm knackered without my remote, aren't I? Ah, you're blinking out, aren't you? Oh, I don't want to watch that, pigs. Put three on, look. You want to talk? Yeah, but I'm on holiday, I don't want to watch it on holiday. Oh. Oh, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to drop a jet size. Oh, you Some dog done business here, you know. Oh, thank you. It just, you know, sorry about that. I've got the dog shit in the lounge. Dog shit? That's disgusting. Oh, you're not helping there. Oh, I'm sorry. Help. You should be. Okay, let's do it. People on holiday switch off their brains. They, they think that uh, all of the things they should do, uh, somebody else can do. They are in some hotel and they don't care about the things which are around them. Hotel owner Jonathan drops by weekly to check things are running to his standards. See this vase here? Yes. That's been there for two days and the water hasn't been changed. If we don't change the water, then this is what happens. Mm -hmm. So can you change the water and just remove the flowers mm -hmm. from the deck? Yeah, we try, we try to do that, but sometimes we're just too busy. <laughs> Today, Jonathan's called a meeting to discuss the hotel's bad review on TripAdvisor. There's that rather evil email I, I, from, from the wedding party. Yeah. yeah, I see. They thought they had the right to put a disco on in the restaurant and I asked them to turn the music down mm. and they made a big drama out of it. Mm. They mm. brought their own booze into the restaurant mm. and they were, they, they were just pretty awful people. It, well, it's really, so, really unfair that they mm. should have posted that, so if you can try and persuade them to remove it. Mm. Yeah. I'd, you know, they called, they insulted the staff Try to pick a fight with me, I don't think you're going to have any joy. Really? Yeah. No. Is, is it best for Sally to speak to them? <laughs> well, you know, um, every time, it was every time that I, um, I spoke to, the, even, even when I spoke to the groom about it, mm. you know, they were, they were pretty obnoxious and um, mm. pretty unpleasant. I don't, right. I don't know how easy it is to take care of fire for TripAdvisor thing when we posted it. No, TripAdvisor won't take it off. Magazines. Oh, well, we can have another look at these. No. You didn't read all the Daily Mail. Is it yesterday? Remember that picture? Yeah, but it's not yesterday's, is it? Yes. Yeah, oh, that is shocking. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine for a 21 year old, this is just. Not that exciting. Too but quiet. There's, no <laughs> there's nothing going on, is there? I mean, the swim is going to be the highlight of the weekend, isn't it? <laughs> God, there's not a and decent man in sight. At least. <laughs> <laughs> you know you do like things oh, yeah. cheap, like you do, you know when it's good quality, yes. when it's, you do like quality. I do, I do, yeah. And I've never really had it, because I've been paying for it myself. If I've been with your dad and we stayed in a marriage. Oh, you had it with dad? <laughs> yeah, we were well off. We were, but I always watched the pennies, <laughs> and I don't know why I did, because, oh, really? you know, it would have been better if I'd not done one I'd have had more enjoyment and more fun. But if you're not the, if you're not the nature, you're not iron, so... Yeah. I can't regret that because... It's funny that you are the nature because Grandma's not is No. And your dad, what my dad wasn't. Was he not? No, it wasn't me. It's funny where you've got that from. I've got it from my mum's side of the family. Her brother was the same. He left a lot of money, didn't he? Yeah. He only got that money through being very, very mean with it. Really? Mm. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. In this country, we have had it very good for a very long time. After the Second World War, I think most countries were the same, you know. Mm -hmm. They didn't want the young children to have the hardships that they have had. And I think that we've given children that were born, even in my era, 
really, you know. We had it ready, I, I didn't want for anything. But there's an, like an undercurrent of, of young people Turn that take it all for granted. It's almost as if they feel, people feel they're entitled to a nice house, a good job, a good salary, the latest phone, camera, car, even without working for it. Where are all, my, where are all the, the young British people? Where are they? Where are they? I mean, what do, I don't know what, um, they're talking about unemployment rising. I think where some are all of these them there are, are now in Krakow and they are in our bars. <laughs> making, oh, really? So, yeah. Hey, well, hey, we supported the Polish uh, economy. <laughs> That's great news. <laughs> you know. I just left my plate there, I was waiting for sausages. I just left it there to keep warm. Breakfast at the Dams and Dean. Oh, thank you. Time for the guests to sample the hotel's full English before checkout. Waiting for sausages, but I'm not sure. Waiting for what? Sausages. <laughs> no more. I don't even know if I want it. One of them looks completely raw. It does look horrible. They smell nice, them sausages, don't they smell proper? No, won't they? Oh, okay. Yeah? Let me go and get dog some sausage. Look at that one. Are you having a bit, are you having a bit of breakfast? No. Yeah. Oh, I'll just get two. I'll get two. Go on outside there, ain't you? Hello. Oh, what have we got? I've got some sausage. Is it cool? Right. Oh, no. Quite. And you have to wait and put it back window. Awesome, that. Pardon? That. It's disgusting. Oh, well, I didn't think it looked very nice. Are finished? Yes, oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Could I perhaps have some more toast, please? Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, so to speak, but I would not come back here and I would not recommend it to anybody. Value for money, I particularly don't really think that it is. Hello. Hello. Uh, I just want to inquire about over Christmas. What yes, you sure, and... yeah, I can give you that. Can we have a bellboy next time? Because <laughs> <laughs> in case of the twice size of it, where would it go? Oh, no, oh dear, very... dear. It's been very nice. It has, it's been lovely. Food is lovely. <laughs> Really nice. I said to him earlier on, I said, I'm not looking forward to my tea tonight. <laughs> I said, not after three days of nice food. And then you're cooking. It was brilliant, dear Christmas. It was fantastic. I'm not just saying this, because I we, work we, it all, but it was. We've said it for years, though, we'd love to come away for Christmas, and mm. we never do yeah. it, and we have really liked it here, haven't we? Yeah. Part of my job is playing the role of mine host, and I really enjoy that. It's like being on stage and you're putting on a bit of a show. And that part of the job is great. But when you have a review, you know, and there are some untruths in it, you can't respond by saying, well, you know, it's a pack of lies. Is it a... It's responding to that. All right, yeah, I've read that. Yeah, now read that. Three days after the bad review on TripAdvisor, Wayne's ready to post his reply. La, la, la. <sighs> Thank you for the day, those peaceful days, those endless... Shut up, I can't concentrate. Mm. Silly cat. I tried to be as diplomatic with my answer as I could, you know, but there were certain things that maybe the customer wasn't aware of. But I don't want to tell them that. It sounds petty, you know. So you just have to be a bit more diplomatic. I don't want them to look like a bitter and twisted thing on the end, do you know what I mean? Wayne, that's too nice for them. Well, I think I think it's too nice. It's a too nice reply for this kind of people. Yeah, I'd love to see their alternative to TripAdvisor, where hoteliers could go on and like review customers <laughs> as they check it. So I'm just looking you up on Customer Advisor, you know, thinking, oh yes, you once stayed there and were terrible. Hello. Hello. The um, television is all the time. Well, most I haven't tried all of them, but. All that I've tried are fuzzy, like just one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so it's not all right. Mm. Wait, 